Uh, it all depends on the day, but you know, anywhere from 60 to 65 is, is something I think I can do. So, anywhere in there. How much time have you guys spent working on field goal kicking and kickoffs this spring? Uh, every day for us, you know, as specialists, that's what we do every day. Um, but as a team, you know, we always have either punt or kickoff, you know, every day. So it's 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 what we you know we live and breathe with. So it's it's an everyday thing for us. Andres, how long have you been doing just the one step and kick? Is that something you've always done? Does it give you a little bit bit of advantage? Uh, in field wise? Yes. Yeah, I do uh, two steps. So oh, it's it right foot, left foot, and okay. then swing through. So that's all I've been doing since I started. So. Yep. How much did that wrench your ear and getting to watch and observe? How much did that help you? Yeah, I think that's uh, one of the biggest things I, I biggest advantages I chose. Um, just knowing I had a retro ear here is a big reason why I came. Um, especially with my brother, it's just been so helpful. And so I think hopefully it'll pay off. And so far, it's 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 helped me a lot. Was Daniel out there at practice today? He was. He got to enjoy it. I think he, uh, it was alumni day, so he's he's right in the role. Anything in particular you're working on for the rest of the spring? Um, you know, coming together as a unit, we got um, you know my long snapper is my roommate, so we know each other pretty well. And we got a holder. We just gotta get you know repetition, get comfortable with each other. So you know, when we're we're not doing so well, we can gather up and regroup and you know recover from that. So. You think you'll be nervous first time you have to go in there and kick a field goal? You always got butterflies, no matter yeah. what. So uh, we'll, we'll get ready. So we'll be, we'll be good. It's okay, pretty here's unique the... in college football, uh, one brother taking over for another at the same position. What are your thoughts on, on that? Uh, you know, you can look at it two ways. Yeah, it's it's brother brother, but you know, I like to think it's just like I'm another kicker, he was another kicker. You know, obviously there's some something special between us, but. You know, I'm just stepping in my role and just doing my job here at Auburn, just like any other kicker would. So. Do you feel confident if you're in a game situation, you could kick a 62 yarder like you did today? Yeah, distance wise, I feel like um, 62 is not anything if there's if there's no win. But yeah, it's all about accuracy. You know, in the game, you get an extra five yards, just kind of adrenaline, whatever. But yeah, I feel I feel confident. Is it difficult kicking a 62 yarder in the indoor just because of the roof? Do you worry about uh, that at all? or do No, you... usually a field goal won't get that high. Yeah. It's the punters that have to deal with that, yeah. that roof. So. But does it mess with you at all, just like perspective-wise and seeming like you're in an enclosed space? No, it doesn't bother me okay. personally. What's the longest kick you've hit in a game, like live? Uh, in a game, high school was 52. So that was the last last game I played, actually, was back in high school. So, so who's the better athlete, you or Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't ask me that. I can't tell. <laughs> Uh, maybe the oldest brother, the third one, the best <laughs> athlete. <laughs> Thanks.